Let's give her some gas. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another POV review. Today we're going to be checking out this 2021 Audi S3. Um, it's the latest and greatest from Audi's new A3 facelift. Well, no, it's not a facelift. It's actually a brand new model. As you can see, quite modern styling uh, compared to the previous Audi A3, which I've also done a video on, on my channel it was the e-tron. Uh, you can definitely see that the styling is more up to date with their current model lineup. So uh, being an S3, you get really sporty sporty looks uh, so you get 19 inch wheels or this is equipped with 19 inch wheels uh, 235s all around you get these nice big black exhaust tips uh, four of them when the rs3 comes out it's probably going to be two of the oval ones which we're pretty used to um, you have these really nice led lighting in the back with the dynamic blinkers for instance so you get nice uh, uh, blinkers going from left to right when you use them don't really get to see it in the car yourself but hey whatever um, this is equipped with a black styling package so you get black s3 emblems uh, also the audi logo is also in black and it's a really nice gray metallic gray paint this um, so let's start with checking out the rear trunk space electrically operated which is nice uh, so you get a pretty decent amount of uh, rear trunk space um, this is about similar to what you would find in a Golf GTI or Golf R, the latest one, the Golf 8. Now let's have a check in the rear legroom. Very black tinted windows, which uh, looks pretty nice. So you get these nice bucket seats and uh, sitting behind myself, I have plenty of legroom, which is pretty nice. I think this is based on the platform um, that Volkswagen Audi Group also uses for for instance, the Golf and the Seat Leon, or I think one of the Skodas. However, for this one, I would guess that they use the longer wheelbase one. Um, so you have quite a lot of leg room. Pretty nice seats. Uh, it's of course S-line everything because it's an S3. Uh, so you get these quilted leather stitch seats, which looks really good. You also get a black um, headliner, also Bang & Olufsen sound, which is pretty nice. So let's uh, pop the hood, show you what's underneath there. All right. And there you go, two liter full cylinder turbo, which produces 310 brake horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. And now this car is also equipped with Audi Quattro, which means that you get four wheel drive, which propels the car from 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in about 4.8 seconds, which is, um, yeah, absolutely mad considering this is a, a hatchback basically. So let's jump in and start her up. So greeted in the cockpit, you get the nice digital dashboard that Audi um, has been using for the last couple of years. You also get this haptic feedback touch navigation system, which is cool. Um, you also still get physical buttons for climate control, which I'm personally a huge fan of. Um, you see that with most new cars, everything well has to be uh, touchscreen nowadays. This is a, I personally like this quite a lot. A uh, big red start button on here. So foot on the brake, push start. And it roars into life. It starts making all these beeping sounds, which is pretty normal. Let me just put her in neutral, give her a rev. All right, let me uh, strap in, close the door, and uh, we can go ahead and uh, take her for a drive. All right, ready to get going in the Audi S3. Pulling away, you have the nice seven speed uh, Audi S Tronic transmission i'm not sure if it's a dual clutch or not uh, but it shifts pretty smoothly uh, currently the car is set to dynamic mode which means that uh, the steering is the most heavy the suspension also gets the yeah the firmest and your throttle response is the best so if i punch it now it shifts down a few gears and it just rockets off this car is really quick and you definitely notice that when you want to use just a little bit of power you have to really feather that throttle i should say um, because this car is quick it's for me i get the idea that's a bit too quick for uh, around here um, considering that this is only 310 brake horsepower um, 
it's really quick and sometimes it's kind of scary quick but um, if you you do really notice that this car has quattro um, because pushing into a corner it's really quick and you're able to get pretty far without losing any grip let's go Ah, see that I currently have the transmission in just a regular mode if I pull this lever back one more it goes into sport and when it is in sport uh, it changes the uh, the time the gear shift stake and it's pretty crisp I should say so let's give her some gas as you can see plenty of fast really quick you get up to speeds that are um, yeah illegal pretty quickly uh, I think you could quite easily lose your license when you drive this car around uh, but I think that's just a matter of a bit of self-control now you get this haptic feedback touchscreen from Audi uh, which uh, is pretty nice you get this even in uh, the a6 or a8 uh, models as well um, so you just get high-end hardware um, which is nice also the digital cockpit right in front of me uh, I can just switch through the modes and you can see it has a full screen map on the right in front of you which is really nice um, when you're using it to navigate around it's uh, pretty nice to use also you can click through the modes and uh, if you pick this mode you have a nice central ref counter um, and you're able to see just exactly what you are doing also nice flat and bottom steering wheel uh, with uh, pretty nice shift panels behind the steering wheel and um, now one thing I do have to note is that uh, the location of the shift pedals I know it's pretty regular with a lot of cars that have uh, pedals behind the wheel um, I personally am NOT a huge fan of them I would much rather have them collar mounted instead of on the steering wheel so for instance when you're coming up to a roundabout you definitely notice that the pedal placement isn't ideal um, when you're trying to get onto a corner you you're messing around with which pedal should I hit um, it's not always the best maybe something you could get used to but um, personally not for me I think most Italian cars actually do have color mounted steering uh, or color mounted paddles which is nice why is it so busy here so I'm driving on a Saturday and it's um, pretty pretty busy around so if these people would just gladly move over I can punch it see in my rearview mirror that there's a, a Porsche Taycan which is nice don't see them around that often yet around here <laughs> now the sound has been muted a bit um, compared to the previous s3 uh, that's because they use an OPF filter uh, which is mandatory in the EU which makes the car, car sometimes sound a bit dull um, which is a bit of a downside you do notice that they try to uh, push some uh, look at the Taycan uh, Turbo S nice um, you do notice that they're pumping some artificial sounds through the speakers uh, which for me yeah it's a bit of a shame that they do that but hey whatever so this car is a straight competitor to the Golf R. Um, also maybe the A, the Mercedes uh, A35 AMG, um, and maybe also the 135 M135i from BMW. One thing to keep in mind that the Audi RS3 is coming soon as well. Audi hasn't yet introduced it, but I'm expecting pretty great things of that. Uh, considering this already has 310 brake horsepower, they're definitely going to be above well above I think the 400s with the RS3 um, so I'm very curious to see how that's going to perform hopefully I get a chance to drive that somewhere in the future yeah it's quick like I said definitely able to lose my license in this which I really don't want to but it's just you get so easily carried away in cars like this where you just punch it and it just instantly has all the power and all the fun you would want from the inside they're actually kind of trying to make it sound like a five cylinder I'm getting the feeling you can hear a bit of a rumble uh, when you're on the outside uh, it sounds more like what you would expect to lead to four cylinder um, 
which doesn't sound bad, but um, yeah, it's gone are the glory days of uh, everything five cylinder with Audi. I think the RS3 is still going to be a 2.5 litre five cylinder, which is the, um, the same engine they used in the previous model as well. Um, but considering the OPF filter, it's not going to sound as great as you would like. Great handling, really good. 19 inch wheels, which probably help out as well, but uh, I think this car is also equipped with uh, dynamic suspension, which if you change the mode that the car is currently in, right now I have it set to dynamic, uh, but if you change it to, for instance, comfort, it, uh, f well, it comforts up the suspension a bit, which is nice, but I much rather have it in idiot mode. I think it's the right word to use. <laughs> oh, so exciting. I love these kind of cars. They're great. Okay, coming off the highway now, I'm gonna shift back a few gears and let you hear it, listen to the sound. See, it sounds all right. Just a bit muffled. Oh my god, that's quick. <laughs> like a little kid in a candy store. So you actually also get some pops if you want to. If you get off the gas when you're around 4,000 RPM, it's also popping a bit through the exhaust. Let me see if I can uh, let you guys listen along to that. a bit of a rumble in the back yeah it's fun 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 love this car also very curious to find out how the Golf R drives not sure if I'll ever get that opportunity but um, I wouldn't be complaining uh, it's also interesting because the Golf R now also of course has a four-wheel drive system or now also it used to have it before as well but that just makes the car a little bit more um, yeah matched to this I think also producing about 300 horsepower so the Audi S3 is more of a um, I think more of a classier I think more of a classier um, Golf R usually the Golfs the GTIs and the R's they usually get some sort of a certain crowd attached to them um, which isn't necessarily bad, but uh, I would understand why people wouldn't maybe want to uh, be associated with that. This is a slight more classy example. I think new, it was about 80,000 euros or something. Um, this one is for sale for about 70,000 euros, I think, and it's also only done, I think, a thousand kilometers. So it's uh, still very new. Oh, sorry for the giggling. I get very childish around these cars. They're great. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So soon I'm also going to be reviewing a Fiat Abarth 595 Competizione, um, which is also pretty good. I've driven a few of them already. Uh, I think three or four maybe, and they're fun. Um, they usually have quite a sporty exhaust, only 1400. Uh, 1.4 uh, turbo but they're also fun so I would suggest you subscribe to my channel if you want to see uh, my review of the 595 I'm really looking forward to drive that uh, expect that somewhere in the well maybe in the next few weeks let me just pull up this road and I think we're gonna call it for here now so uh, i want to thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a like it really helps me out a lot if you have any questions or comments you want to make also let me know and uh, be sure to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed so um, yeah guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video